Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and you would never do this to your beer. Well, I'm going to talk to you about six different possible ways that we might be able to open those beers up right now and still enjoy them. Now, shaking up beers, hot beers, overpressurized beers, they're just a nuisance on the drinker. This bottle. Ah! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Can there. I think there's a little carbonation in that. What do you think? Uh, it's like John's pour in this one. What John is he talking about? So I'm going to run through six possible ways that we might be able to open these cans and still enjoy them right now. So number one, we have our shaken up beer here and we have a, well, just basic, let's open it and pray for the best, but we're going to go with a large glass. Let's see if that, you know, will help. Not too bad, a bit of foam, quite a bit of foam. Not too bad. Large glass, kind of works. I feel like a lot of foam. Now, number two, the ultimate slow pour. So we have our shaken up beer here. Oh, slow, slow. All right, that's kind of working. That works. Nice and slow. I mean, my hands are dirty, but. All right, other than just initial explosion, not too bad. I don't have to fight as much head. Slow pour, not too bad. Now, number three, we have our shaken beer and a ice cold glass. Will the ice cold help? No, it actually made things way worse. I didn't even get through the whole beer. Yeah, didn't work. And actually the reason that didn't work is because the ice crystals in the glass actually cause it to nucleate even more so. So that just doesn't help. And I don't know why people say that. Now, number four. Now this one's actually said to be for soda and but should still work theoretically, right? They say that the oils in your finger help prevent the foam from going down. So let's stick our finger in while we pour. I don't know how that's going to work. Do I like, my finger's getting all wet. Doesn't really, I mean, it's kind of going down. You gotta use more. Well, it's going down a bit. So if you don't mind a, a wet hand and a fingery beer, 
Make sure to wash your hands. Well, actually they say, you know, you want oil, so don't wash your hands. Ew, what would I do with my fingers? I will say though that the, uh, the head went down the fastest on that one. So that is interesting. Okay, so now we have number five. Let's shake this up a really good bit. And this is probably the most common we always hear, tapping. And tapping the can. Now a lot of people say, yeah, tap the top. I've never had that work. Now one thing I've read though is tapping the side. You have to do this a bit more, but from my understanding, this works. Come on. Okay, I mean that worked out better than I thought. It wasn't as big of an explosion as some of these were. There's still head there, but it is manageable. Very manageable. So these are five examples of how to save a shook up beer. Well, the ice one really didn't help all that much. In fact, that was probably the worst. But now, number six what to do. Well, I think that one is probably my favorite one. You wait, and you open up another beer. And just enjoy that one. By the time you're done with this, that one will be ready. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and you would never do this to your beer. Or that. The perfect pour. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. Hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links will be at the very bottom of the description. Um, have you ever dealt with shook up beer? Do you have your trick to use to stop it from foaming over or from help pouring it in from exploding? Let me know in the comments below. See you guys later.